and dad said he don't care if people talk about him. He said his only thing is finding a way to make a dollar off it. He said he from Harlem. That's what he do. Grain of salt for sure. Like I, I mean, I know the game I'm in. You know, I know people are gonna say things, have opinions. You know, I just, I just, to me, you know, I'm basically, you know, every time someone says something about me, unless it's overly disrespectful, I'm happy. I don't care, just say my name. I don't care what you say, just say my name because I'm from Harlem. I'm going to make money off every dollar you say off my name. I'm going to steal anyone slapping their jack paws, slapping their gums. I'm gonna make money off of that if it's about me. Cameron and Mace giving their opinion on the Drake and DeMar DeRozan situation. Um, I'm a fan of both of them, so it is what it is when it, if, when it comes to me, but let's see what Cam and Mace talking about. We have a lot of basketball to cover topics that have happened over the weekend, so we're gonna start with Drake and DeRozan. So Drake was invited on the NBA broadcast during the Raptors versus Kings game. Vince Carter was getting his jersey retired that night, but Drake chimed in on the broadcast and said, if you ever put a DeRozan banner up, I'll go up there and pull it down myself. Sure. Yes, if you ever put a, a DeRozan banner up, I'll go up there and pull it down myself. That's the answer to the question. Is that what you're going to ask? No. Oh. I didn't mention well, you know, that. Sorry, I didn't. And Kyle. Yeah. Sure. He was also caught in multiple clips staring down DeRozan when he was sitting courtside while he was playing. As we know, DeRozan appeared in the Kendrick Lamar video for Not Like Us. After the game, he was asked about Drake's comments and replied, he's going to have a long way to climb to take it down, so tell him good luck. Mm. A lot of back and forth, Mace, but what was your reaction to both messages? Uh, I don't think none of it really, really changed from my vantage point. I think when DeMar Rosen was in the video of um not like us it really probably hurt drake probably more than any other person that was there because this is a person that they shared a lot of history with and i can only imagine i i wasn't there but you know the time that they probably been dogs with each other so to see somebody you know on the other side when the same, the same scrutiny would have been there if he didn't do it because he's really from LA. So he was really in a, in a real lose, lose situation. You're going to lose somebody. And he chose, he chose to lose Drake. And that's, that's probably what I could say to that. But the trash talking is not going to stop. I think I even saw some online where people that weren't there trying to get in the conversation and saying say those things to me so you i could see it going a lot of different ways i pray it, it, it stays you know harmless and that everybody stays safe yeah i think that uh uh mace is correct when it comes to drake probably is more hurt than anything when he's seen him in the video because you got to realize that demar DeRozan spent a lot of time in in Toronto. In Toronto before he left to go to San Antonio. And Drake is a season ticket holder. And you don't know what kind of relationship that DeMar DeRozan and Drake had prior to him leaving Toronto. Um, you don't know if he says, yo, get my friends. There's been times where you... I don't know if a lot of people, people who haven't traveled to Canada before, it's not easy to get into Canada. If you got a felony, it pops up, you can't get in, X, Y, Z, et cetera. I, one time, had somebody that needed to get into Canada, and there's several stories, Gucci Man, uh, J. Cole, everybody, to where Drake calls the border and gets people into Canada that can't get into Canada. So when you are getting, when you have this relationship with this person who has so much prestige or whatever in Canada, and I, like I said, I have no idea what kind of relationship DeMar DeRozan had, mm -hmm. but I could feel he probably felt betrayed. But at the same time, DeMar DeRozan might have been like, I'm from Compton. Uh, this is where I grew up at. I was just there for business. I wasn't there to be friends. And all that comes after you get traded, though. 
So Drake was probably more hurt than anything, and I can understand that. But at the same time, Deron DeRozan probably said, I'm not from here anyway. You know, when I watched that, not just the video with Kendrick Lamar, but I watched the concert. When I watched the concert, People just couldn't control themselves from getting on the stage. Like, people who probably had no business up there just <laughs> was jumping on stage. It was a moment on. they didn't want to miss. Exactly, man. It was. It, it looked like, and you know, it was, it was funny because a lot of people were saying that you had LeBron James in the crowd and Savannah was telling them, you better not get up there. Because they was in the crowd together. It looked like LeBron almost wanted to get on stage. Um, so I think Drake was hurt. I seen them, I did see the highlights and Drake was definitely staring at them or whatever. But hey man, shout out to both to everybody. I understand where Drake's coming from and I understand DeMar DeRozan saying, hey, I'm originally from Compton, but we don't know what happened when they was all in Toronto at that time. No, I'm okay. Now it's now because I'm I'm getting to it. I done changed. Now oh, y'all in the corner. Or y'all smoking that that dirt, that weed, or whatever the fuck y'all doing. Y'all talking about? Oh, he think he all that because he flying first class. Oh, he think he all that because he be in the jet. Oh, he think he all that because he be with Cam, Jerry, and two hours on doing the. Like he think he all that, cause he trying to do a donut in a rave. He think he all that, cause all the all the models that, that got all the millions of followers be trying to get in, the, in his new videos and, and stuff that he do. He think he how the f I think I'm on. I'm, I'm just getting to it. If you think, cause what y'all think? Y'all need to think about the lotto numbers, cause y'all thinking about it all the goddamn time, all the goddamn time. I'm a, think about getting changing your drawers, dirty. Think about telling your girl stop to get out my DMs and I gotta tell her to get the f out of here. You know what I mean? Stop, 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 stop talking about telling your girl to get you some toothpaste or something. So stop thinking about, stop thinking about getting to the bag. Leave me the f alone. I stop, stop thinking about being on my f I don't do that. I don't go that way. You know what I mean? And I wouldn't even invite you to another person's if they went that way. You're disgusting. <laughs> Capo said no days off, so you already know. He gonna get it in regardless. <laughs>